And now, ladies and gentlemen, accordion sensation, Smiling Jack. I don't know what happened. I was taller when I woke up this morning. What do you think? Does it look okay? <laughs> Needle on the record. Vinyl. Welcome to In the Practice Room with Smiling Jack. Today, episode four, and my special guest star, the one and only Liberace. Do you hear that? Do you know the name of that song? Smile. And I'll be smiling today as I talk to you about Liberace, the man who inspired me in my youth. Of course, it's a complicated story, and in this short amount of time, I can't go into detail, so I thought I would just tell you how it all began. And we have to go back in time <laughs> to 1973, I was 14, three years into my accordion lessons. We lived in a small track house in Escondido, California. This story takes place on a Saturday morning. I was in my practice room. And I want you to know I believe in the law of attraction and like attracts like because timing is important in this story. So I was practicing and I decided to take a break. I came out into the living room and I sat down on the couch. It was a long room with a dining room at the far end. The television was here. My mother was seated at the dining room table, cutting up vegetables to be used for dinner later. The television was on. And I looked at the screen and saw a man seated at a piano speaking to an audience. Well, my mother had the Saturday morning movie on, a 1955 film, Sincerely Yours, starring Liberace. So I decided to stay and listen. So in this scene, Near the end of the movie, he has just finished a long classical segment and is telling the audience that he wants to play a few popular songs for friends in the audience. So as he started playing, I realized there was something very special about this man and the way he worked for an audience and the music was spellbinding, spellbinding. So when the movie finished, I thought to myself, Liberace is going to be important to me and I wanted to know more about him. So the first step was to purchase record albums. This is actually the first record I bought in 1973 99 cents, thrifty drug. <laughs> and then I realized I would have to keep my eye out for future television appearances. So we'll move into 1974. I stayed up late one night to see Liberace on The Tonight Show with Johnny Carson. 
Johnny announced that he would be opening at the Las Vegas Hilton Hotel in Las Vegas in June. And I thought to myself, oh my God, I have to see Liberace live in Las Vegas. So later I told my accordion teacher about it, and she got the idea that we should all go together. Susanna and her husband and another accordion teacher from Susanna's music shop drove from El Cajon to Escondido. My mother and I got in the car and we were off to Las Vegas. I was so excited. While we were driving, I imagined just how much I was going to enjoy the concert, but I also imagined that I would meet Liberace after the show. And I indeed did meet Liberace. I found my way backstage. About a dozen people were there waiting to meet him. And then he came out of the dressing room and he spoke to each individual person. And he saved me for last. It was a thrill to meet the man I had just seen on stage. He was friendly, soft-spoken, kind. I'll never forget it. And that became a regular activity. From 1974 until 1979, I made many trips to Las Vegas to see him work and to see him backstage. This photo was taken in 1977. So let's go back to the concert. I was 15. I had never seen anything like it. I had never seen an entertainer live. So I started with the best. The stage, the sets, the lights, the orchestra. Liberace, his personality, his showmanship, and of course, the music. I was stunned by it. And two things happened that night. First of all, watching him work, I realized that show business was for me. I wanted to do with my accordion what he did with his piano. And the other thing that happened, he introduced me to a type of music that I had never heard before. He announced he was playing boogie woogie. Oh, I was hooked. And a little while later, I said to my accordion teacher, Susanna, that I wanted her to help me learn how to boogie and woogie, just like Little Rock. So at my next accordion lesson, she did help me learn how to play that boogie woogie pattern in my left hand. So I thought in episode five, I will play Boogie Woogie for you, my own composition too. And I owe it all to Liberace. I'm an entertainer today because of him, and I play Boogie Woogie because of him. So until we meet again, thank you, and keep smiling. <laughs>